I think most of us as Catholics, when we think of mission, we think, well, Jesus gave a mission to the apostles, he gave a mission to the church, to the priests and the bishops, and it's their job to carry on the mission of building the church, growing the church, and preaching the church. When we think like that, we're mistaken, because the mission of the church belongs to all of us. All of us, by virtue of our baptism, are called to be mission-driven people. And that's what Pope Francis keeps trying to hammer home to all of us, that it's not just the bishop or the priest or the deacon's role to share Christ with others, but it's our role. Think about it. All of us came to know Jesus through someone else. Maybe it was a beloved priest or a sister. Maybe it was our grandmother, our grandparents, or our parents. Someone passed on their faith in Jesus or their experience of Jesus to us. And something about their testimony, something about their witness, something about their example touched our hearts and gave us that fire, that gift, so that we came to know Christ ourselves. My friends, that's the mission of the church. That's what Peter and Paul did. That's what James and John did. They didn't get up and build cathedrals. They didn't establish institutions. They simply began by sharing their experience of Jesus with someone else. And when you think about it, Peter and James and John and Andrew, all of them were fishermen or tax collectors. They were not the world's best and brightest, but yet they literally changed the world by that personal experience they had with Jesus and sharing that with someone else. And my friends, that mission continues in the church 2,000 years later. It's now our job, just as it was those fishermen and tax collectors back in Galilee, to share the Jesus we've experienced with someone else. Now, while that can be intimidating, it doesn't mean we need to stand up on a street corner. It doesn't mean we need to become a televangelist. It simply means we need to be authentic people of faith. In other words, our actions and words need to match up to what we say and who we say we are. Our witness is more proclaimed by what we do than by what we say. And if all of us who truly believe in Christ were those vibrant examples and witnesses that we are called to be, think how vastly different our world would be. That's the mission of the church, to share the Christ we've experienced in the way we live our lives, to touch someone else's life so that they can get to know him as well. Pope Francis keeps reminding all of us that that's all of our jobs. And if all of us would start doing that, I think it's safe to say we would live in a vastly different world. Now you may think to yourself, I'm not sure how to do that. I'm not sure I know enough about Jesus myself to do that for someone else. Well, if that's the case, then the new program we're starting, Alpha, is for you. Alpha is a 12-week program that literally will change your lives because it'll help you encounter Christ, know Christ, and let Christ make a difference in your life. Alpha is being offered on Tuesday and Wednesday evenings. We're even feeding you dinner, so there's a hook. You don't have to worry about getting dinner ready that night. But it's a short, concise program that literally will make your life different. I'd ask you to please hit the website, the bulletin, or the flyers in church to find out more information about it. But Alpha is being offered so that all of us can live out that mission of the church that Pope Francis keeps reminding us about. Live out our mission and sharing Christ with someone else. And as I've said before, if all of us would actually do that, what a vastly different world this truly would be. Not a sermon, not a homily, just something for all of us to think about.